Welcome back, Rage Nation. We are at it again. Got myself, Pete, here, and we're going to go over the top 10 minions in Gaining Grounds 4. Before we get into it, make sure that you guys like, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. That way you can be updated whenever we do videos. So we're going to go through the top 10 minions that are in GG4. So the first minion that we're going to go over, number 10, is actually from the Bayou faction with the Silurids. Now, Silurids... They have, they come and go with gaining grounds. The reason why Silurids are so great is because one, they have stealth. So anytime you have a more scheme heavy gaining grounds, the Silurids are going to be better. Uh, they also have butterfly jumps, so they're really good at not getting one-shotted usually because they're going to get attacked and then jump away. So it's hard to kind of pin them down. And if you don't get them in uh, one big swing with a focus shot, they're probably gonna get away. They also have a built-in mask on their leap, so they're very fast. And that's pretty much what you're doing with them. You're using them to scheme, you're using them to get places and um, interact with things like the cloak and dagger markers. They can steal those intel tokens from people, plant explosives they're good in. And uh, actually with Raid the Vaults even, they'll, they could be decent there as well because they can get the back lines to get two VPs. So definitely think about bringing that. The number nine minion for gaining grounds four is the Prospector. Now Prospectors are generally good. A lot of people like them because you can get uh, soul stones with them. So they're kind of like a soul stone miner. And uh, probably the best reason though for them is that they really like removing ski markers to possibly draw cards or put out other ski markers with their appraisability. So they can draw cards, filter cards, and if uh, on a praise, they can also, if you flip an 11 or 14, uh, not only draw a card, but then you also get uh, to put an enemy scheme marker anywhere within range. So it's just, it's a really solid model, good in your back line, good to go get rid of scheme markers that your opponents are putting down. So I would just really consider this model if you're playing in Outcasts, because with how many of the schemes and gaining grounds for need to have ski markers down. This is gonna be a great model to help deny that because you can just appraise twice to get rid of two ski markers that are six inches away. And yeah, it, it's just, it's really solid. Um, they also have mining tools, which is good for getting around resist triggers. So don't ever pass that up as well. The top eight model here that you should bring in gaining grounds for for minions is actually bookkeepers. I, I wasn't big on this, but I talked with Dixon when we kind of compared what we wanted our list to be. And Dixon pointed out a lot of really good things. Story in general has some good abilities with like well-versed and things like that. But also this model's just good for doing an extra interact action with its bonus. So with efficiency, it can go ahead and for a five, just put down another scheme marker. Or actually it's not even just that, you can interact as well. So this model could, you know, vote three times in an activation. So you could get it into a spot, vote three times, and that way you kind of got that ballot box secured. So just really solid, solid model. Also has draw secrets, which is always good on a trigger for their cursed translation. So just a really solid model, good schemer, which gaining grounds for is all about scheming. So when you're looking at minions, if they have good, cheap ways to, uh, inefficient ways to scheme or interact, or prevent your opponent from interacting, those are the ones that you're going to want to look at. The seventh minion that we think is going to be really good in gaining grounds for is actually the Gwissin from the Rezzers faction. So this model is just, it's really kind of just silly. It's its really hard. To, it's a six stone minion that's really hard to deal with. Uh, they have take the hit so they can help protect your stuff. If you do damage these directly, you're gonna take two damage from Vengeance 2. They're in Corporal with seven hit points for some reason. Uh, they have a really solid attack with Tear Apart and you can get Ram Triggers to more likely get to your damage five, but also to heal yourself. And then they have Trail of Gore. So once again, a really good way to counter what your opponents are doing. Uh, Trail of Gore, you can remove an enemy scheme marker to either do a walk action or do a melee action. So this is once again, just a great way for you to counter your opponent's stuff while also just a solid model that can do normal things like interact, take the hit, 
uh, do some damage on some of these squishy minions or models that your opponent's going to bring. So just a really solid model, can counter scheme markers, and is going to also just hang around the table and going to be difficult even for a henchman to get rid of uh, because it has seven hit points and it's incorporeal. It's just kind of ridiculous. So definitely consider bringing the, gu the Gwissen. Number six for minions that you should bring in Gaining Grounds 4 is from the Outcast faction with Catalan Riflemen. This is actually kind of the same thing as the Bookkeeper, where it's a five soul stone model that is going to allow you to discard a card to interact. So once again, it can interact three times if it's voting. It can uh, interact, walk, interact. So it allows you to put scheme markers down. And it just it's a good model. Um, it's squishy, so you got to be careful with that. It does only have five hit points, but it is hard to kill, so it's not going to get one-shotted. Ignores friendly fire, and probably the other big thing besides just interacting is this has stun on a stick, right? With its clockwork rifle, you can do price of progress to do damage to yourself, and then you get stunned on your opponent when you shoot them. So, and it's a 14-inch gun. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, warning shot, giving distracted out, also really good for uh, for Anya's crew, and uh, not only that, but I think it's just it's really solid because some of the models in Anya's crew distracted actually gives them a positive. So definitely consider the Catalan riflemen; they're just really good, cheap investment, going to help you get points, win games. The fifth minion that you want to consider bringing in Gaining Grounds for is an oldie and a goodie. It's just a solid model from the guild that you're going to bring because it's just, it's always good, is the guild lawyer. So guild lawyer, tools for the job. You get to pick up a card and cook in a suit. Really, really solid. But the biggest things for the guild lawyer is just how efficient they are because you have solid obey with them. So you can have your good models do more good things. Uh, you can also get draw out secrets with that, which once again, you're putting ski markers down where you need them. Impassioned defense, shielded to help protect your stuff, possibly draw cards, do it again. And then even sharp wit, being able to put slow on models so they can't get to points to interact or can't get to points to uh, kill a model. It just makes them really good. So guild lawyers are never a bad option. They do lots of really good things for, for the guild. So if you have an option, even out of keyword, definitely recommend bringing the guild lawyer. Number four for minions that you should bring in Gaining Grounds 4 is from the Explorer Society with the Botanist. Botanists are still really good. They're really efficient minions. They do work better with some masters because the thing about botanists is you do have to remove markers, either a terrain scrap or corpse marker within four, and that gives them a grow token, up to two of them. So you can get some really solid stats with uh, becoming defense seven, willpower six, movement six, and size four with these botanists. So they're just really solid. They have planted roots, so you can't get rid of them. You have to kill them. And with those stats, that can be very difficult. And then they put out staggered. They have onward, so they can go ahead and just go wherever they want. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, they're just going to be good schemers. They're, they're better in crews like McCabe and other crews that can remove those markers easily. But you can still put them in a lot of crews, and they're going to be really solid. You just might have to tech in something to help them get rid of markers. So botanists are really good at interact, walk, interact. They are good at getting across the board. Once they have two grow tokens, they can go 18 inches across the board. So just always consider these if you're an explorer player. They're just really solid. Number three for model minions that you should bring in Gaining Grounds for is the Mature Nephilim. Also put in a caveat here for the Young Nephilim, but definitely the Mature. The Young Nephilim got a lot ba better in GG4, but Mature Nephilim are just, they're good. Main reason is they're just going to kill your stuff. They're fast. They can scheme. Uh, they're really hard for other scheme runners to deal with because they just got to try to run away. But when you have Fly With Me, Movement 6 Flying, it's just, it's tough to outrun Mature Nephilim. So they're usually going to come in, do three, four, six damage to you with their heavy claws. Uh, they're going to fly with me to get where they need to go. And then they usually can interact for just profit. They can just 
get their VPs where they're needed. So they're good at clearing out things where they need to and then scheming and getting their VPs uh, just anywhere on the board really. So especially things with like outflank, putting scheme markers on, on the board 10 inches away, um, just murdering the crap out of anything <laughs> that wants to try and scheme somewhere. This can just bully a flank. So definitely consider if you're a Neverborn player or even uh, I guess you can now bring these with uh, Castor and that keyword and of course Barbaros as well. So definitely consider the Mature Nephilim because they are just really solid beaters. And like I said, the, if you need a discount, the Young Nephilim are really good. So consider bringing them as well. Number two for minions that you should consider bringing is for the guild again, Rocketeers. They're amazing. So Rocketeers are just really, really solid models. They can do some just stupendous things. They're flyers. Uh, they have heat of battle, so they can discard a card to get a third action, third AP essentially. They have up we go, so that's really good in a lot of situations, a lot of those schemes, especially like take prisoner, uh, kicking people off the raid the vaults markers. And they also have just really good bonuses. They have onward, so they can take a walk action, and they have lighted up so they can get rid of non-scheme markers. So this allows them to get rid of a lot of problematic things that your opponents are going to bring. So Rocketeers are just going to be really solid in this gaining grounds. Uh, they just cause a lot of problems for your opponent. So even out of keyword, it's definitely worth bringing this, this minion into your crew if you're playing guild. So definitely consider the Rocketeers because uh, they're also not easy to get rid of. I mean, they're seven hit points with armor one, so they're just going to be a pain in the butt. Go ahead and bring them. And then last but not least, the number one minion that you should consider bringing into Gaining Grounds 4 is for the Arcanist faction, and that is the Gearlings. So the Gearlings, if you have not played against these things, they are amazing. They have a built-in uh, leap aside trigger on the defense duels, so they're really hard to pin down. And these things are fast as all get out. They ignore friendly models, sorry, they ignore terrain and models, not just friendly models. So they can just go pretty much wherever they want. And they're speed five, which doesn't seem like a lot, but they have an unwind action. So when they get a condition, they can remove it to get basically a, just a general non-charge action. So that's another five inch move you could do. And then you also have watch chain where you just push five inches towards a terrain piece, and if you get the masked trigger, you get to go another five. You get to take the action again. So these things can end up going 25 inches across the board um, in a pinch, which really good turns out. And they're just really good. They're pretty de like decently hard to kill. They do have armor one, and you can put them in situations where it's going to be hard to pin them down. So these things are just ridiculous. So if you're playing Arcanist, it'd be hard for me not to bring two of these things in most games, especially if you have a crew that puts out conditions like Karis or Sandeep, where you can just put out a bunch of conditions, they get them, and then they get to profit off of it. So definitely consider the Gearling. It is a baller. So that's our top 10 list. Let us know what you think in the comments. There's a lot of really good minions that you could put on this list. This was just kind of a combination of Dixon and, uh, and my ideas of what we thought would be good in Gaining Grounds 4. So try these models out and let us know what you think. And leave a comment if you think we missed an important one or if you think that one of the ones we mentioned might not be as good as we think. I want to thank our patrons. They help support us to put this awesome content out. And if you want to become a patron and get the benefits of getting content early and also being able to do live recordings with us, and uh, getting just lots of cool opportunities as a patron. You can do that at patreon.com slash ragequitwire um, for as little as a dollar a month, and anything helps us out. We appreciate all your support. Until next time, make sure that you guys are flipping cards, flipping tables, and we will see you all later.